<laughs> what a deck! Happy Halloween and welcome to What a Deck, where we play Troll Decks, Rogue Decks, and whatever the hell I feel like. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe, and today we're looking at Ghost Trick Beatdown. Yes, for the third year in a row, I have played Ghost Tricks on Halloween. Last year it was Ghost Trick Burn, before that Ghost Trick Mill. And now we're looking at Ghost Trick Beatdown, which is much simpler. We're just going to be flipping all of our opponent's stuff face down, and then we're going to attack them directly. And of course, Ghost Trick's having a little bit of hard time now that we've got these uh, the, these Link monsters that can't be flipped face down. But, but I still managed to do it. Granted, I had to make a 50-card deck in order to fit everything that I need in here. Granted, it's still not a good deck. But if you want to troll people, if you want to have fun, if you want to play something that's just really weird, can't go wrong with Ghost Tricks. Now, if you just want a deck profile, there's a link in the description to a separate, much shorter video. I'll go over everything in here and explain how it works. Otherwise, I'm playing 10 duels against random opponents on YGO Pro 2. I'll be testing this out, showing you all the combos, and hopefully... We'll have a spooky time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are. Very first duel versus your name already. Things are looking unoriginal. Just not not a good look for us at all. Oh, but oh, and he's starting right off with all the draws. We're going second. Uh, this deck, you kind of prefer to go first because you got a lot of traps that can sort of like, you can't flip Lynx face down, but you can flip their monsters face down before they can go into Lynx, and then and then you can prevent them from making their plays in the first place. Uh, of course, we don't have any of those here, and it doesn't matter because we're playing against uh, Pendulum Magicians, and I cannot, uh, I, I don't think I can win against Pendulum Magicians. I played them, like, all of three times with this deck. It, it does not work. Basically, Pendulum Magicians, their big weakness is spell trap removal. That is how you hurt, hurt, hurt them. That and, like, big attack point monsters and stuff like that, or stuff that can't be destroyed or targeted. But, um, yeah, I'm going to have a really hard time against these because I can't flip all their stuff face down nearly as easily. They're just going to out advantage. Fortunately, I started with Heavy Dust Storm, so if they get their two Pendulumographs, I can kind of take care of that. And Beals isn't as much of a problem if I can keep it face down. But really going to be a difficult one going against what is, at the moment, one of the strongest meta decks. Second only to maybe Spirals. So, yeah, I don't usually like to skip ahead uh, this quickly, this soon in the episode. But this is Ghost Tricks. This is going to be a long episode. I think last year's was like an hour and 45 minutes. The one before that was like an hour and 45 minutes. So, yeah... Uh, especially if I'm already going against a deck that is known for making long plays with a lot of complicated maneuvers. I'm just going to skip ahead. We'll come back when it's my turn. <laughs> Alright, well things didn't turn out as bad as I thought they would. Mostly because this guy seems to be playing, like, Performa Pals in with his Pendulum Sorcerers. Which I don't think will make... I mean, it's got a better draw engine, but I don't think it's going to really be helping him all that much. You got Lure of Darkness, because all the Ghost Tricks are Dark Monsters. We'll just draw those. I'll go ahead and get rid of... Mm, ah, tricky. Tricky indeed. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. I'm going to go ahead and try for a Ghost Trick Museum. I play two of the three Ghost Trick field spells because they're useful in different situations. This is whenever a monster inflicts battle damage, it's flipped face down at the end of the battle phase. Um, really good against non-Link decks, and then the other one makes it so all monsters, except Ghost Tricks, do half damage. Uh, we'll go ahead and set Jiangxi. And we'll set our... Hmm. Let me think about this. I probably should have done this before I set. But if he's got a... If he's got a Pendulum Graph, yeah, this will force him to use it. Because he's going to lose all the magicians that he can use it on. I'll probably feel silly for wasting the one Raigeki, especially if you draw it in a 50 card deck. Yep, but at least I know where it's at now. Hopefully it gets rid of my feel- Oh, Yeah, I should have done that before I got the Jiangxi. But at least that the, the big thing was that, um... Let's see. Yeah, it's any one card. 
So yeah, that would have been the problem is like, there's a chance that I set this and then he uses it and then I'm in for a really bad time. Because if this gets destroyed, this is my one out to his Pendulum McGrath. We'll just check that. If you're unfamiliar, this will just like ask you at the end of every possible instance. There you go, and that's why you'll wait. Because now he pretty much just wasted that. No more graphs for you. I get all the graphs. Granted, he's still way ahead of me, and this is this is really a deck where you want to grind people out. So, decks that can generate massive amounts of advantage, like the Pendulum Sorcerers, really not a great matchup. In general, I, like I said, I, I made these as good as I could get for Link Format. They're still not optimal for Link Format. But you can do some... I've gotten enough good replays that even if this does poorly, I could at least be like, Hey, check out this thing, I got... I got Ghost Trick Stein up to, like, 7,000 attack using Ghoul. This is pretty neat. How often do you see a 7,000 attack Ghost Trick? That's straight up, like, some, some uh, desk bot level shit. I tell you what. Oh, let me look through here. I've got all these papers on my desk to remind me of things. I gotta give a shout-out. I'm gonna try to do it in the, the six duel where I usually try to do it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna let him do that. I'll take the damage. He'll go face down. You want to attack with this guy? Oh, he's going to get rid of that, but I got this to go face down. Yo, what's up? You got face downs. Granted, I was really hoping that would be there so I could attack over things. As it stands, I can't attack over things. You can't normal summon the ghost tricks unless you control another ghost trick. Um, yeah, normally I'd be able to flip this up, then attack directly with this guy. When he inflicts battle damage, then your, uh, whatchamacallit. Actually, I could still get rid of all the, both of these. Just flip up my Jack Frost. Yay! Go Stein! Yay! He's a Stein Mart. He does Stein things. So this has zero. Let's get rid of that. Oh, but wait, if I kill that, then he'll have... Then he'll be able to get a Pendulum McGrath, and I don't want him to have a Pendulum McGrath. That is not my, my thing. We'll just flip that face down. That'll stop him from Pendulum summoning things out of his extra deck. Because he's already got that spot taken up. He can kill one of these two. If I could draw a level 1 or a level 3 again, then I'll be in some, some pretty good positions. Because then I'll be able to make my Ixie summons and I'll be able to do things. Sorry, I'm not as I'm not explaining these as much as I normally do. I assume people are good or they know ghost tricks after the last two episodes, but I keep getting new people. I always forget that. Yeah, the Ghost Tricks, a lot of them, they can all flip themselves face down. All their field spells have the same effect that uh, if all... Your opponent can't uh, target face down monsters for attacks. And if all your monsters are face down, then you can attack directly. But this one is just like, but then if you inflict battle damage, you go face down. So you could set your cards, and if you have the field spell, they're safe. They have to make direct attacks. And then you've got monsters like Jack Frost that are like, when your opponent declares a direct attack, special summon this face down and turn their monster face down. There's another one that just outright negates attacks. Oh hey, it's Enlightenment Paladin. How enlightening. And then he's going to get his Duelist Alliance back so he can get his, his trap. Yep. My only hope at this point is that I could stall long... No, he's not going to get his trap. All right. He hasn't normal summoned yet. Or has he? Yeah, I guess he did. Yes, and he's going for Jack Frost, which means I may just have a chance. I think, um... Equal to that monster's original attack. I'll take the 800! And then just please... Uh, okay, good. All right. That sets some things up. Uh, it's not optimal, but it sets some things up. 
So we've got we've got one stein. There goes our other stein. We've only got two of them. I have ways to recover them. Don't worry. Uh, we'll go ahead and use those to make our ghost trick Aru card. He could destroy face down cards. He doesn't have any, so it's not really important. The important thing is you could summon Angel of Mischief on top of any ghost trick Ixi. So he comes back. Um, and she can detach to add any ghost trick spell trap from your deck to your hand. Um, hmm. Yeah, so let's go ahead. When when all the cards sent to the graveyard, you can add any ghost trick from your deck to your graveyard. Or deck to your hand. So we're just going to use this to get our field spell back. Uh, let's take, yeah, this one. This one was the one he seemed afraid of. He doesn't like his things to go face down. And he's going to draw in Lockbird, even though I'm not drawing any more this turn. So there you go, I've got 2,500. Uh, activate. Oh, yeah, yeah. This also has the effect that you can, once per turn, attach a ghost trick from your field or hand to it. And if it has 10 materials, you win the game. Got, hmm. You just, you're too spooky. Too spooky five me. Granted, he, I don't think he can get over this. This is not, oh, it is a dark spellcaster. Damn it. Um. Yep, but then he's getting rid of his scales. Oh, okay. I guess he's not using that. Hey, I got my field spell just on its own. Um. Let me think about this. Ooh. Uh, let's go ahead. Activate the field spell. I'm gonna count that as a win. I don't give a fuck, alright? How many times am I gonna be able to see that I beat that? They say he lost connection. I think he just quit out the program because he was tired of this nonsense. He knew he wasn't going to be able to get over these things. I could have shifted this to attack mode. When I detached, I would have gotten a spell plus something from my graveyard, so I could have gotten something else. And then even if he destroys this, he's attacking directly. He's already used all three of his cosmic cyclones and both of his droll and lock birds. I I'm counting that as a win, baby. I don't give a fuck. Let's go into the second duel. Alrighty, second duel versus Logas. Again, you kinda wanna go first with this deck, but it doesn't really matter all that much. Um, let's roll the bones with the Allure of Darkness. Um, mm, ah, mm. What to do? I don't know what he what he's playing against, but I don't have any way to make him attack directly at the moment, so let's just get rid of Lantern. We're gonna set Doll. Doll is amazing. I'm going to set this over here just in case of Jack Knights. And there we go. Yeah, Doll is flip. Uh, it act it has a flip effect. Or it's not, not written as a flip effect. But when it's flip face up, its effect activates. And then the actual effect is during the end phase, flip all the monsters on the field face down. And summon a gross trick whose level... Ugh, pardon me. Is less than or equal to the number of monsters flip face down by that effect. So it's great because they attack into it, and if they don't negate the effect right there, then during the end phase, everything goes face down. Playing good old Burning Abyss. I don't have the new uh, cards in here. The one thing I don't really like about YGO Pro 2 at the moment is that the updater is broken. So if you want, you want to get new cards, you could pretty much just add them if you want. And so there are people who add cards in that that aren't that not everyone else has. So and I don't I don't remember what the the uh, the the burning abyss link does off the top of my head. I just know it has 500 attack. And luckily I got both of these. But yeah, the point is unless unless they use Farfa, I think Farfa has to be a face up monster, doesn't it? Unless they use Farfa on this, I should be good. Because then everything, I mean, this won't go face down, but these other two will go face down, or if he's got a Dante, that'll go face down, and then I'll be able to summon something. And he's making Super Quantal, and that's just going to get rid of Heavy Dust Storm, which is fine because Burning Abyss aren't really known for their traps for the most part. They have, like, 
Ah, uh, trap, and I'm not sure if they it sees much play these days. Scarm. You can't really say, whoa, man, like, chill. <laughs> he's funny because he's a snowman. Why isn't this, oh, yeah, monster, they, uh, what was it? The, the, the Link monster says that fiends can't be destroyed by card effects. And if you're unfamiliar with the Burning Abyss, the Burn... Aw. Come on, man. Why I gotta be that way? Oh. Wait, I thought it was Warriors. Is it Dark Monsters? Or is it any monster this card points to? I don't understand. Either way, attacks, I've got Mary. You can discard Mary when you take damage. Uh, summon, I think it's just any ghost trick, isn't it? Um, so yeah, special summon one ghost trick from your deck and face down. We're going to pick Jiangxi. And then when Jiangxi is flipped, I can add a ghost trick from my deck to my hand whose level is less than or equal to the number of ghost trick monsters on the field. Face up on the field. So when it's flipped, it's just one, so I can add a level one. The most important one to add in this situation is Ghost Trick Spectre. Spectre says when a Ghost Trick is destroyed, you could special summon this face down and draw a card. So I'm just going through my deck, baby. This is why we can play 50 cards. Ridiculous shenanigans like this. I wish I knew what this says if it was all monsters this card points to. <coughs> or what. Either way, I almost feel like it's worth it to just use like Dark Hole Raigeki. Because at that point, he, he'll have, like, almost nothing. He's just got the one card. He'll have two. I'll have two. Okay, he'll have three because he searches. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm at a huge disadvantage because, like in the anime, I literally have no idea what this card does. Ooh, that might actually be better. Um, let's see... That'll destroy at least that, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and try that. Alright. I, yeah, again, I, I don't know what it does! <laughs> Bullshit! Ugh! Um, I could write Geki. I don't know if anything would be destroyed, though. I guess I guess we'll figure it out. It can't be destroyed. It's a fairy, though. Okay. And then we'll just flip the other two face down. You just flip all monsters your opponent controls face down. They can't be changed for two turns. And because of the way the, the uh, whatchamacallit, the, the Burning Abyss work, their effect is, um, if they're on the field with a monster that's not a Burning Abyss, they're automatically destroyed. That's why having a monster that keeps them from being destroyed is important. Yeah, well, you can't fire me, I quit. So yeah, if they have face-down monsters, that counts as a non-burning abyss. But yeah, you'll have to count that, uh... On the one hand, I kind of hate... I'm kind of, like, super angry at Percy that they took, like, this fucking long... I mean, they're, they're making a free game. But, like, they knew Link Summons were coming out, like, eight months ahead of time, and we were six six months into Link format, and they still haven't updated it. It's like, why, why not just update it and get the AI later, or I don't know. I don't mean to criticize these people because they give me this stuff. I just don't understand why they, the, the, the reliable people take forever. I feel like I'm forced to go to YGO Pro 2, and then... It has links, but it's super unreliable, and I'll, I'll be facing monsters that I can't read. So yeah, I, I lose that one. I'm putting an asterisk next to it because I had a mystery card, but I still lost. <laughs> Ramona! Ramona! I don't actually know how that song... There's a song called Ramona from the Scott Pilgrim soundtrack. It's really, really simple, but I can't remember it. But that's who we're playing against. Ramona from Scott Pilgrim. That's who I'm pretending it is. 
And while I'm here in the third duel, I should go ahead and remind you, you probably noticed already, I got some pretty sweet ghost trick sleeves. It's got, like, just about every ghost trick on there. All the ones that I use, at least. They're, they're all hidden in there. I think they're pretty cool. Then I also have last last year's ghost trick sleeves, which are also cool if you like the burn effect and, and memes and stuff. And then I've got the previous ghost trick sleeves. Joe, if you haven't already put those up there, put them up there so they can compare the three of those. And if you want all those sleeves, along with every sleeve I've ever made, I made completely new sleeves for every episode that I do. It's custom art, made by me, modifying the cards. It takes several hours to make. Uh, you can get all those from my Patreon. A donation of $1 or more gets you access to all the stuff I've ever made. And it also supports the channel. So you're helping me to continue to make this and hopefully do it as a full-time job. And you're getting cool stuff out of it. So it's like a win-win. It's like I'm an actual business giving you things instead of just begging for money. And I mean, you also get the, the entertainment and stuff like that. But entertainment's so, so cheap these days. Like, you can get free games and free music and all sorts of free stuff if you just look around. Like, it feels, it feels almost weird to charge for entertainment. But if you like this enter, it, it, it's really less of like, I, I deserve money, and more like, I can continue to, like, I need money to live. I can continue to live and do this if I get some money. And also I can improve stuff. Like right now my, 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 uh, Patreon goals are just sort of like, get enough money that I can move out of my parents' basement. But after that point, then it's like, buying another monitor so that I can, like, edit more efficiently and do uh, streams where I can see the chat and actually have the screen and full screen at the same time. Um, buy a bigger table so hopefully I can have, like, better unboxings. Maybe have enough room to set up and do, like, a green screen thing so I can do, like, this quasi-face cam thing I was thinking of doing. I won't actually be on face cam. I was going to wear, like, a green screen mask and look like a ghost. Or maybe just have my hands on camera. That might be interesting, and then I can emote with those. Just a little something extra. Yeah, and then hopefully if I keep getting money, I can, like, hire people to, to uh, help me edit and stuff like that, which will give me more time to work on other projects, like Lefty, and I've got, like, a card game I wanted to make, which would be pretty fun, but I haven't had time to work on it. I got a whole bunch of projects. I got a tabletop RPG I'm working on. That's pretty neat. There you go, set and set. You got a chance, Mr. Dr Dragonic Guy. If that's a cosmic cy or yeah, cosmic cyclone, now is the time to to use it, I tell you what. But yeah, that's my what was it? It it's it's weird when I, I see uh, a lot of the more popular people on YouTube. The more degenerate people on YouTube, like the, the, the Rice Gums and the, the Logan Pauls and stuff like that, and they're talking about, like, oh, I'm so rich, I got millions of dollars, like, I don't want to be, I feel like, like, I don't want to be, like, I, I want to have a, a comfortable life, but to me, it's like, if you have money just, like, sitting around to spend on clothes, you're doing it wrong. Like, if I had money like them, I would be, like, making a restaurant. Uh, one second, let's see here, this is... One spell trap. Okay. Well, you know what? I'll get rid of that and that. No more field spell for you. But yeah, that's like, if I had that money, I would just be like, I would be going hardcore into building as many possible things as I could. It's like, I got a TV show I want to make. I got a movie I want to make. I got restaurant ideas. I have this cool idea for, like, a community center where, like, the exercise equipment is hooked up to, uh, what are they called? I forget, there's a name for it, but it's like, you can basically create, uh, electricity using, like, man-made energy. And it's like, you know, it's not a whole lot of energy. You're not gonna be able to, like, power a city with people running on bicycles. But it's like, if people are already running on bicycles, why not use those bicycles to then generate money either for the community center itself or for, like, the people in the community. I don't know. I don't know enough about electrical engineering to know if that's a viable idea. I just feel like there's a lot of, like, wasted energy that could be made. People are exercising on machines and that just, just for, like, the heck of it, and that energy could be, like, made into power. 
But yeah. Those are all like super lofty goals for someone sitting in their, their parents' basement playing <laughs> Yukio. But I'm just saying that that that's my thing. My goal is not to be rich. My goal is to make a lot of money so that I can spend money on making new ideas and interesting things to populate the world. If I ever get to the point where I'm making like 60,000 a year, I'm going to be like investing most of that. I will still live a pretty basic life because I'll be hopefully investing all that stuff into other stuff. Instead of buying a bunch of useless big cars and boats and shit, I'll probably still go everywhere in sweatpants. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like barely talking about Yu-Gi-Oh, but this guy's playing really slowly. And if you don't know anything about uh, Dracos at this point, I'm not sure what... This is from the graveyard, right? Um... Oh no, that's the thing that just halves the attack. But you need at least two monsters for Masterpiece, so you can't get Masterpiece out at the moment. Alright. That's pretty neat. Um, let's see. Change this position. Yes, true Draco man, you are fighting ghost tricks. I hope you don't mind. So I'm gonna flip that. I'm gonna get my my uh my specter or the ghost right now. Because there's a chance he'll destroy this while it's face down. <coughs> Using something like Masterpiece or the effects of one of these, and then I'll be able to draw either way. Um Tribute summon? Okay, and that yeah, so this will send, that'll get that, okay. We got this. We good, fam. Good old Jiangshi. Let me... yep, spooky ghost. And then he'll destroy that, and then I'll just get another ghost trick. And I'll get to draw. Advantage city, bro. Bitches don't know shit about my advantage. I'm just gonna keep drawing cards. Hopefully I'll get my field spell. One of them. I have, I have two copies of each of the field spell, plus two terraforming. So there's like six... No, I think I'm playing three terraforming. I forget. I'm playing that, plus Stein can do things, plus other stuff. I've got a lot of ways to search things. That's why the card that's why the deck can be 50 cards. I guess I should be talking about that cuz normally I don't play over 50 cards. But Ghost Tricks search so aggressively that it actually works pretty decently. I mean, there are chances you get like brick hands and stuff like that. But it's just the thing like you could play a whole bunch of one ofs because there's a bunch of cards that search Ghost Trick spell traps and there's a bunch of cards that search Ghost Trick monsters. And that's why there's a whole bunch of stuff where it's like, I I really need to play Ghoul because he helps with a lot of the beatdown aspect of this. But otherwise, he, he's useless unless you've got like two other monsters on the field. So there's no point in playing three of them. You just play him at one and then you use the other ghost tricks like Jiangshi or Dahl to, to search him out. Or same thing with the Stein. Stein has like the most attack and he also searches spell traps. But on his own, unless you've got stuff that can flip things face down, you're going to have a bad time. Fortunately, though, if he's just attacking with this one monster, I'm still in good because I can activate Spectre on a Spectre. I'm a ghost. What's up? Bada bingo, bada bingo. Ooh, and this is nice. Not at the moment because I don't have anything to flip him face down. But if you can start flipping them face down, this is another example, like, while a ghost trick is on the field, your opponent cannot flip summon. So if you could flip them face down and keep, like, one Ixy monster face up, they're not going to be able to flip any of their stuff face up. It's one of those cards you run at one, because if you can get that combo down, you're awesome. But if you cannot get the combo down, you are not awesome. Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do. Get that. Now that there's a ghost trick, we can make a ghoul. Spooky. Change Jiangxi. Jiangxi, now that there's three ghost tricks, I can get my Stein. Which is what I want to get. He's gonna activate that. He'll be searching and stuff. 
Ooh, ah. Ooh. Mm. Uh, well, I've only got the one ghoul. Although, yeah, I can go into other things. Um, let me think about this. 11 plus 400. He can basically add the attack of all the monsters on the field together. I can Ixie summon, but I'd have to use him. So I'm just trying to think. That would be... Um... 2100. Okay, so that wouldn't be enough. So what I'm going to do instead is just make, like, Alucard... Yo, what's up? And then I'm going to make Mischief because she has more attack than he can handle. I'm going to use Mischief's effect. I'll detach Ghoul so I can add him back next turn. Or now. <laughs> um, yeah, let's get... Nah, I really need my field spell. This'll fuck him over. I'll get my ghoul back. He's a ghoul of a good time. I thought you already used your effect. Alright. Flip that face down. Go and activate Mansion. Set, and set. Because this is level one, I can summon these, I can summon these. Hopefully he'll get another monster on board. Because I really want this to be face down during my turn. So I'm probably just going to take the damage, and then I can normal summon one of these. And then attack him for 2,000. And then he won't be able to search, get his searches and such. Spellbook of Secrets. Just using that draw power. Yeah, I kind of forget if I if I'd gotten Ghost Trick Scare. Ghost Trick Scare lets you like flip up a Ghost Trick to target a monster they control or target monsters they could. It lets you flip up all your face down monsters. Look at the Ghost Tricks, and for every Ghost Trick they have, you flip one of theirs face down. Tribute summon? How about eat a dick? How does that sound? Granted, he gets to destroy my ghost trick museum. Or he could destroy this if he wants. Nope, that kind of sucks. But it's better than letting him get a masterpiece. Um, didn't he not tribute any month? Okay, he did one. Gotcha. Yep, grindgame.deck. <coughs> who can outgrind who? I think he already used the... Okay. Yep, so there's all three of his true Draco heritage. heritage I. So yeah, okay, so that works. Cause yeah, the ghost tricks you can't summon you can't normal summon them unless you have another ghost trick. You can only set them. So what I'm gonna do is um Yep. This is when you're when uh when your opponent declares a direct attack, you can negate the attack, special summon this. Battle fader will negate the whole battle phase, but it doesn't matter. The point is that this can um like, I can normal summon this. So I can just flip Lantern up, normal summon Battle Fader, and then I've got a rank 1 play. And I can do all sorts of stuff and things that would be recommended. I still might lose this, especially now that he's got Masterpiece and I've got no field spells. And he's going to continue to gain advantage, whereas I will not continue to gain advantage. As much. Ooh, that's tempting. But I wanted to do that thing that I wanted to do. Let's go ahead. Normal summon this. Let's go ahead and make a doula hand. 
And he can have a monster's attack. So let's have this guy's attack, because he's got more attack. Granted, he'll be able to search something, if he's got stuff left. He's used a lot of his things. Oh, I should have had the other one's attack. Oh, wait, no. There we go. This gains 200 attack for every ghost trick card on the field. So for a second I was like, oh, I'll only have 1,200, but then if I flip that face up, I'll have more I can get over the Draco Warrior. Kill that shit in half. Yay! And then we'll just go ahead and make this. Because he can't get over it! Um, what do I have in Grave? Yeah, let's just go ahead again. For now, we'll just add one Ghost Trick Spell Trap. Um... Yeah, we'll just attach the battle fader. He'll fade the battles. I don't have anything face down I could put, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but let's just do this. One of the weaknesses of, of Masterpiece in general, which doesn't really work in the the main meta, because traps are so so slow for the most part, but it's like, he can only make himself immune to monsters spell, like, only two of the three monster spells or traps. So if you have a spell that's going to flip him face down, and I have traps that are going to flip him face down, and monsters that are going to flip him face down, he can't make himself immune to all of them. He's only going to be able to choose two, and I don't think he's going to be able to do spells, because he's already used a shit ton of spells. Um, Alright, so I can normal summon one, but do I... Do I have a ghoul? Oh, I have ghoul in hand. Um... Yeah, I think I'm going to just take... Yeah, either way... Normal summon. Activate, we'll change the attack. Give that 3100. That's more than you have, right? And that'll flip it face down. And then this will flip it face down. So now he has to attack directly, and I've got Battle Fader. So this is why, like, this card, useless right now. That's why you only played at one. If you have the other field spell where your stuff's not getting flipped face down, uh, where you can add the trap that's, like, flipping stuff every turn, which I probably should have done now that I have a face down monster. But that's the cool thing about running the both, tra both uh, field spells and terraforming. Is that, like, now that I'm in a position where I can use Ghost Trick Knight, I can switch things up a little bit. Depending on what he does, again, he's he's running out of resources. He's got the one Ignis Heat that's already gone. He's got all three of the true Draco heritages. He's got both of his disciples. Sadness. Um, what do I, what do I want? If I only get one thing... Um, I think I'm going to pick... No, I'm going to set Jiangxi next turn. Let's get a Spectre. More draw power. What now, holy man? What now, Ramona? Okay, set this. Your go. If you blow it up, I get some things. If you attack it, I get some things. If you attack directly, I could flip you face down with Ghost Trick Jack Frost. It's pretty neat. And this is why Ghost Trick players often go into time. <laughs> Ghost Trick is slowest dick. I think I have a replay of me playing against Weatheries, and it took like almost 30 minutes just to do that one duel. Not almost, like, like, I think it was like 45 minutes for like one duel with Ghost Tricks versus Weathery because they're both such grindy decks. Ugh. 
But yeah, I think at this point I'm going to start skipping ahead. I'll come back when, when interesting things happen so that I don't run out of stuff to say. <laughs> oh, he's gonna destroy my ghost trick doll, but that's fine because again, Spectre is just gonna come up. The gangster Spectre of Defeat, yo! Oh hey, I got another doll. Neat. Thanks for the free draws. Also face down. Rip his face off, like in face off. I don't know why I'm saying things. It's the third duel and already I've run out of things to say, I'm just rambling. Ghost trick's too slow, I should have found someone else to come with me. Uh, let's see. Flip. Uh, flip. Um, let's see here. Special Salmon. Yo, what's up? I'm a dual hand. Also, while we're at it, let's tag this out, because I'm gonna do the thing that I- oh. Oh, he's activating True King's Return now. And then he's going to Tribute Summon. His monster in his trap. Too spooky. Because, yeah, now that I had this out, it was like, I could have gotten... If he didn't have that, I would have gotten Ghost Trick, uh... What does that do? One monster. I'm going to have your attack! Even though it won't work. But I get to add stuff back. Um... Okay, I've already used one Gdula hand. Uh, I've already got the doll. Let's get another one of these. Um, getting stuff back. And hey, guess what you're not immune to? <laughs> you can only be immune to two. What happens when I've got all three? You're gonna have a dang old time destroying me. Adoop, 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 adoop. What do you hit? This or this? I only hit one. Oh, I was getting rid of my field spell. How many field spells have I used? Have I used all of them? I might have used all of them. I could have attacked him for 300. Um, let's see here. I've used both of my museums and one of my mansions, so I'm running low. Oh great, you're playing that shit too? Fantastic. I've got all dark though. You got any light? Light's what I'm worried about. Damn it. Oh, or, oh yeah, it doesn't matter. He can just use it from the graveyard. He can be a graveyard man. This has to be... Interest... Oh, he's going with that. I've got to abuse all the, the broken cards. So I'm like 90% sure that Gofu is going to just get banned in the next in the next list or put it one or something. If you're using Gofu now, I, unless you're in like a tournament where it's like anything goes, you've got to be the best, everyone's going to be using Gofu. You're kind of a scumbag. Because you've got to know that this is going to be banned. It's banned in the OCG. It's just like instant links. Alright, unless he's got another link spider, he may have just screwed himself. Usually you make proxy dragon. Do you have a proxy dragon, son? It's okay if you don't. I won't be angry or anything. I'm just asking. <laughs> Opponents left the game. Again, I, I'm counting that as a win. He done goofed after me stalling him out forever. I outed Masterpiece. I outed two of these. He was running out of resources. There wasn't much left he could do. So we'll go ahead into the f fourth duel. Oh, this is so long. 
What have I done? <laughs> All right, fourth duel versus Kobalze. Kobazals, Kobals, Kobalzy. I don't, I don't, I don't understand these kids today, and their howdy duty time. He's going first. First is the worst. Second is the best. Going for some kind of rank four turbo, maybe. Or maybe Miss Starboy, and then he can go into Bahamut Shark. Nope. Doing something. Heroes? Alright. I think I can beat Heroes. I can with Doll. Doll is helpful. And I got my field spell already. So that's kind of neat. That's kind of neat too, I tell you what. Woo-wee! Maybe he's playing old school heroes and I'll really have a chance. I kind of like stuff in the graveyard. I don't necessarily need stuff in the graveyard, but some stuff in the graveyard. Man, this really seems like one of those decks that uh, wouldn't work in Lynx. You're doing a lot of stuff. Unless you're just going for Veril Dragon Lord. I, want, I really want to count that one, but not going to count that one, sadly. <laughs> Alright, here we are in what is hopefully the real fourth duel against Playmaker002. I thought I saw a text down there and I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't see it in time. That's another complaint I have to get about this. I don't think there's uh, any way to display the chat, the previous chat. Oh. Yeah, strongly, yep, you can use the middle mouse button or the tab key to open up the message log. <coughs> so I guess that was, yep, someone had told me that. They also, that keeps track of your card, field, and life points, like how many you've got. Oh, I'm first, fuck, I'm not used to going first. Um, time to put all my egg. no, I'm not going to put all my eggs in one basket. Just in case he's got two, he's got a twin twisters. I don't want to be messing with that, especially since I got stuff that can stop direct attacks. Sign at you know, oh great. Uh, well, now actually pretty decent. Because I just happened to get my drowning mirror forces. Which is basically how you stop links with, with these. I, I got rid of the, the bearing mirror forces because you can't put stuff face down. Instead I've got these. Because the field spells all make the attacks direct attacks. So now it's like, you know, direct attack, wait for them to go. Double summon, alright. I can still stall with Ghost Trick Lantern. Hey, hey, ho, ho. See, it's a good thing. He could have discarded two cards. He would have got rid of both of my mirror forces. I'm not liking that. And he's got a secretary. It's like if you control Cyber, you just summon her out. She's all like a techno secretary. 8,000 life points, normal summon a cyburst in addition to your normal summon. Hopefully he'll just use all of these and, and make one thing and then I'll be able to uh, drowning mirror force it. And then nonsense will happen. Oh hey, it's a ram clouder. He's just playing the pure cyburst deck. I tried to make one of these. They're decent, but at the moment there's not a lot of strong cyburst cards that are out. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stop from taking all the damage. Yo, what's up? You face down. You wanna be face down, kid? Cause that's how you get face down. And then... Yeah, I'll take that. Ouch. And then the final attack, I will not take. And hopefully I'll get a level 1. If nothing else, assuming he keeps these out, which I don't know why he would, then I can attack with Ghost Trick Stein and get some things. And he won't have enough cards in hand to destroy whatever I get plus Drowning Mirror Force. So that'll be cool. But what I really need is like a level one monster. Yep, Encode Talker, which is not out yet. And also its art is weird. 
Um, once per turn, and if an opponent's monster, this card points to battles. Oh, a monster, this card points to battles an opponent's monster. You can make that monster unable to be destroyed by that battle, and you take no battle damage. Damn it, why do people keep disconnecting? This is nonsense to poppycock. I could have ran over that with Ghost Trick Lantern. Then I could have set this. He'd have no way to get rid of it. I'm counting that as a win. That guy done goofed. This is, ah, uh, Percy, just hurry up and get the link so I can reluctantly go back to using you instead of this garbage. Not that this is garbage. This is really well put together. I'm sorry. I'm just getting a little salty there. Just frustrating when it's like the thing you use to make your videos is the thing that, that's causing the problems, it feels like. And not, not the actual decks themselves. Uh, anyway, fifth duel. <laughs> Alrighty then, here we are in the sixth duel. Took a little bit of break. Watched some uh, SF Debris, he's, he's a pretty cool channel. And now I'm fighting against... Japanese. My arch nemesis now that I have more than one arch nemesis. I'm going first. Uh, mm, uh, mm, eh, mm. Guess I'll set this. This, if nothing else, even though I can't activate it now, or I can activate it, but it won't do anything. If they destroy it, they can't attack for the rest of this turn, so it'll stall me if they do Twin Twister both of these. Oh, hey, it's Alistair the Invoked. He's not as spooky anymore. <clears throat> the real question is, what will he make with said Alistair? What kind of deck am I facing? The world may never know. I just hope it's not Macabadaba. I don't like Macabadaba. Damn it, it's Macabadaba! Damn you, Macabadaba! <laughs> Why well, I got so many things to deal with. Um, let's see here. So he's gonna do that. I'm going to go ahead and use this. Make him discard something. You're like, yes, you are fighting. Oh, no? Okay. Your loss. I would have thought that you wanted to, to negate things, but apparently you don't want to negate things. Um, end phase spookiness. Oh, that's that that was really good. I'm glad I did that. Um, let's see. Flip. Uh, normal summon. Twenty one hundred. Damn it. That's too much for me. Um, put that there. Yo, what's up? I'm a tiny horse. Um, one of, ooh yeah, this'll be good actually. So, put this up here. Um, activate. Add one spell trap. Let's send Mary. I'll get my field spell, the one that all non-ghost tricks do half damage. Or not. Whoa, man, like, chill, alright? Fuck. Well, in that case, no flip summons for you! Ha ha! What you think about that? Now you can't get your macabre bar back up. And you can't summon another one even if you got your Alistair. You just gotta hope that you got some kind of true king shenanigans you can do. Which, to be fair, he might be able to do. While we're waiting to see if he has any true king shenanigans, though, I want to give a big old hard leg Patreon shout-out to Brian Bruns, who is again just continued patron, dust leg. He hasn't been in the deck build challenge in a while. He's been busy with work, but he has appeared back on the Patreon He's been he's been a dandy old fellow, just just being nice and friendly and all, all those other things that I expect people to be. And he just continues to give me money, so thank him down in the comments. Say something nice about him, perhaps with a joke or something else introspective about the about the deck. 
But uh, I, I usually pin a comment that says something nice about the patron that, that uh, happens. At least like a thank you, and then whatever else you want to do. It's weird, when pinned comments first came out, everyone was like, I really want my comment pinned, and then, uh... <laughs> pardon me. And then, uh, after that... Oh, it's just another macabre little... Kabu balls. Yep. Not sure if can Kabu balls. It's not even a difficult name to say. If only I had known. Give me back my... Mary. She had a little lamb. Its fleece was as white as snow. And then she got trapped in a mirror. Ooh, what a twist. It's spooky. I have a feeling that the ghost trick Mary is the mirror. And it's just got the girl. Because she doesn't, she doesn't seem like she wants to be there. All the other ghost tricks are pretty happy. I mean, I guess he's kind of not. He looks kind of worried. But everyone else is kind of, like, smiling. I guess she looks a little worried, too. But not not as worried as, uh, Mary. Mary is the only one who seems, like, legit scared. Hmm. Yeah, let's try this first. You got a spell you want to discard? Nope. Good for me, bad for you. Let's get a mansion. Even though I might not be able to survive past that, we'll just put that out there. Um, set this. Because I can't summon it. But hopefully if he can't summon anything. Or if he does summon, he'll have to attack directly and then he'll go face down. Unless he manages to tribute this for, um, whatchamacallit. In which case, it will not go face down. Um, crap, we'll destroy that. Please destroy this. Go for Ghost Trick Knight. You know it's the spookiest. Damn it! <sighs> I don't know what it is. Like, like pe People have been asking me in the comments. They're like, hey, Joe, when do you record? I, I want to know so I can fight against the non-meta decks that you always seem to get. All I ever fight against is meta decks. And I'm like, I, I don't know, I just, in the afternoon, on the weekends, is usually when I do it, sometime during the weekend. Oh, hey. That's pretty nice. Thank you, thank you, Heart of the Cards. Um, and yeah, normally, it's not quite so true Draco-y. I don't know why I get so many true Dracos this time. It'd be nice to just have, like, a duel against, uh, I don't know, like a, like a, whatchamacallit, uh... Oh, what are they called? Like, like, uh, Fortune Ladies? I'd like to play against a Fortune Lady once and just be like, you know, have grand. They probably, they'd probably give up before it got too, too far into it. That's the thing about Ghost Tricks. You can usually see them coming from a mile away. Granted, if they give, if I, if I get a decent hand and I, uh, it, it they, I've actually, like, won, I, I've OTK'd people, or not OTK'd, but I've, I've, uh, I've gotten up. I, I've, like, killed people in, like, three or four turns with this if I get the right hand and they can't stop me. Just because if you can get, like, to the point where you're attacking directly and everything's face down, you get Angel of Mischief, that's already 200 per turn. But I already flip things face down. But why? Am I, am I gonna die right here? I might die right here. This has 1,200, though, so if he attacks it with Alistair the Invoker, hoping to get extra damage. No, I'm not dead right here. Or at least I get to summon anything. Because <laughs> all the ghost tricks are level 3 at the highest. At the most highest. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of damage, and I'm still going to have a difficult time coming back from this. But there's still a chance. There's still hope. I've still got hope on a rope, and my name is not a joke. It's Joe, and I might be slow, but at least I'm here, and I'm going to go. Um, Let's go for... I can't attack directly, so... 
but that'll only get me so far. Uh, yeah, let's just go for Doll. Doll and Ghoul! Um, 1800, 12, 13, 14, so I don't have enough to deal, I could deal with that. So there's the thing. Change position. Unless you got a solemn strike. He might have a solemn strike. Unfortunately, oh, okay, yeah, but if I didn't flip this up, I wouldn't have been able to do anything. Either way, let's change the attack of self. Now I'll just go ahead and attack this thing. 1,400 is more than a 1,000. Doodly-doodly-doo. Womp. Well, now I feel silly. I always forget about Dragonic Diagram doing things. Um, either way, now that three monsters are face-up, I can special summon a Jiangxi, which will give me even more survivability. So I may be able to stall my way into oblivion. Fortunately, I can't keep advantage of this. That would have been cool if I had... But I needed to flip this up in order to summon this. But I might be able to, if he can't get rid of all three of my things, or all four... Yeah, he won't be able to. Because this will summon me something, and this will get me a ghost, and then when it's destroyed, I'll summon the ghost. So I might be able to lock him down... By getting all his monsters face down and then just keeping a ghost trick face up so that he can't do anything. Because he can't summon another invocation. Granted, he could get, uh, what's his name? Masterpiece. The true Draco saying asshole. Um... One monster on the field. Couldn't even make it a face-up monster. I mean, it's a, it's already a trap that has two things. Like, it already has two effects, and it can... And when it leaves the field, it destroys something. You couldn't just make it face-up. And this was, this was just summoned by an effect, so it can't... It doesn't have any of its stuff. I've got a rock, I mean a big ass rock, maybe something like a cinder block is better. Lift it up, smash it on your face, my buddy. Yep, maybe I should have got, I was like, maybe I should get another doll, but I'm like, no, that's overkill, they just attack both of them. But I didn't expect them to do all these things. My only hope now, I believe, what are you doing? Why would you do that? That seems silly. You're just getting less attack. Are you dumb? Are you dumb guy? Just triggering things because you can? At least I'm not taking any damage. But yeah, my only hope now is to get um, Swords of Concealing Light, although even then he could just banish True King's Return and do things. Take one of those. The Gangster Spectre of Defeat. Oh, hey. Neato. So I can continue to stall for days, although to what point? I don't think I'll actually be able to overcome him at this this juncture. Okay, so now if I draw it, I'm... Oh no, he has another one. I guess Dark Hole Raigeki would be good, because he's still affected by spells. I already used my Dark Hole, though, so the chance that I would draw my one Raigeki is like one in a million. One in 36, actually. Which might as well be one in a million. We'll just see if I've got the heart of the cards. The card of the hards. Nope. 
Not in the slightest. I don't think I can win now. Nope, pretty much over. It's gonna mark that as a loss. 3-3. Going into the seventh duel. I mean, if you want to see it. I said, you'll have to comment. I, I, I got like a couple people who are like, I really want to see you lose. And then I, I mentioned that and no one's ever been like, no, Joe, I, I don't want to see you lose. Or, oh, okay, I get it. He's going to attack with all the things and you're not going to have enough to stop it. So yeah, co comment down in the comments. Do, do you want to see when I lose or if it's like evident like this, can I just skip ahead? Some people like the longer episodes. I feel like it's easier to just cut that kind of stuff out. <laughs> does that stall me for another turn? I don't think it does. Because he could attack with that and then attack with Masterpiece. And I don't have any defense. He's got like zero defense. He's a zero defense boy. Yep. So there you go. You get to see it with your own eyes. We're going to the seventh duel. Thank Brian Bruns. <laughs> It's my arch nemesis player for a spooky Halloween dookie duel. Um, set? Uh, activate? Uh, skibbity bop? Um bop and it's gone? Now hopefully I'll know this, I won't, I won't do the thing that I did before, which is a dumb thing. Chain it to stuff. Pre-prepped. Oh, well, I gotta face Vendreds again. Yeah, yeah, I gotta face Vendreds. Ooh, I don't like them. Too spooky. Five me. Oh wait, I can activate things. No, that's your normal summon. Go face down. Give me a card. I want this one. No shenanigans for you. I hope you die in a fire. I mean, I'm pretty sure he could st he still, unless that was his only monster and everything else is spell traps, he's got to have the things to summon his Vendred. But if they don't come from the field, then he doesn't get those effects. And I've got this, so once he destroys this, I get my things. I can Swords of Concealing Light. I'm pretty set. Unless he's got Spell Trap Removal. Going with the desires, eh? You would think you got you got some stuff in there that you don't want to be banishing. Like what happened? Oh, granted, I guess he's already got his his uh ritual and his monster. But what if I get rid of it, and you've banished the other two? I said, the only time I use Pot of Desires is either when it's, when it's, um, if you can just use from the field. But it doesn't get any extra effects. And then regular preparations of rights. So we can get that. Um, and then Allure of Darkness. Yeah, the only time I, I really like using uh, this is either when you got a deck that works off Banished stuff, or if you've got a deck where it's like literally like all about the, the, the extra deck and you have like a bunch of targets. Like if you're doing a rank four deck and it's like it doesn't none none of the individual ones matter, it's just getting two any two level fours on the field. Or like with my crawler link deck from last time. Where it's like I, I can banish any of my crawlers. I don't need any specific one crawler as long as I can get two two monsters on the field. I'm set. The only thing you don't want to banish is your field spell, but I had, like, so many ways to search my field spell. Um, one spell trap. They're just not, they're not liking my mansion. All the ghost tricks are trying to have a party, and he doesn't want to come to my Halloween party. It makes me just a wee bit sad. Um... Huh. My eyes. Why does it burn my eyes? Oh. So yeah, I did that from the field, so I believe you can just banish my spell trap. Ouch. Um, when a card or effect that would destroy a card on the field, banish one zombie from your graveyard to negate and destroy. 
This card is tributed or banished for ritual summon. All monsters lose 500 attack and defense. All right. Spooky ghost time. And that's, um... Yep, just once per turn, quick effect. So I'm pretty sure if I activate this, he could just banish it, and then it doesn't resolve because it doesn't no longer face up on the field. My best hope... Yeah, so what I'm going to do is let him attack. I'll take this hit. I'll set this one face down with Jack Frost, and then I can keep them face down with Swords of Concealing Light. Assuming he doesn't do a whole bunch of synchro shenanigans. I really dislike, you know, zombies. You know, I... Mm. It's... You know, I, I wouldn't have a problem with the Vendreds if it was just the Vendreds. But it's the problem that you've basically taken the, the worst aspects of a, a zombie deck. The, like, zombie deck that uh, that just synchros out uh, Omega over and over again. And you've just added Vendreds to it. So it's like, it, it's, it's not as though you've made a... It, or, it's not as though I'm facing a Vendred deck. It's this, as if I've... Well, you're not... Aw, oh, he knows better. The nose knows, all right. Um, yep. He's got me out. Yeah, like I said, it, it's just one of those, like, it It just feels like instead of facing Ventreds, I'm facing the same old zombie deck. The same old zombie synchro deck that, that is, like, borderline broken. Omega, especially in Lynx, if you can make Omega a whole bunch of times. Granted, he's not doing that right now, but I, oftentimes when I run into Vendreds, it's like, make two Omegas and then also summon this guy. It's like, it's, it's just the same Omega deck, but now they have another boss monster. That doesn't take up their normal summon. And he's got spiky boots. Look at that, if he kicked you, it would be so hard. Yep, I'll take that. I'll take a, um... I'll take a Mary. I can stall for eternity! Dream staller! What you gotta do with the thing if you want in the thing? Damn it. Oh wait, no, this will still work. Because I've got Mary. Quite contrary. Give me my ghost. Or my doll. Doll can stall. Or that. Or that works. Granted, he's got the ritual in there, so it's not gonna do much of anything. But I can, I can pretend, all right. Or at least I can waste one of his resources. Um. Oh, I thought it was if it targeted. Um. Let's go ahead and set that. End phase. Everything goes face down. Let's get another Jiangxi on the scene, shall we? Stall in for eternity with ghost tricks like a fool. How do so many people know what ghost tricks do? I guess they've been around long enough. 
But you know what? I like this. Like, even if I lose, at least I feel like I've, I've done something. I've had, like, a back and forth. I haven't hurt him, which is bad for a, a beatdown deck. But I'm at least doing some stuff and some things, man. I'm making him think about the plays that he's making. And this, uh, yeah, once per turn, quick effect. I think that's during, if it, if it says quick effect, that means he can use it during my turn. They've kind of changed the way, it used to always say once per turn during either player's turn. But I think if it just says quick effect, that just means he can use it during my turn. <coughs> if I'm wrong, I'll feel really foolish because I could have Swords of Concealing lighted him like a long time ago and been doing all sorts of things. Why would you summon this in attack mode? It has zero attack. Oh, he wants to get it on the field so that he can summon them. I guess he already has the, um, by battle or card effect. I don't want to destroy them by battle, though. I just want to put them face down and attack over them for a lot. Because yeah, even if I don't get ghoul, all this stuff, like, adds up eventually. Get that effect. Hey, hey, ho, ho, one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, oh. It's ghost time. Coming on down with the ghost. Ooh, battle fader. He'll fade those battles. Oh, it could attack again. Oh, no. Whatever will I do? Um, yeah, I kind of want to do that, but at the same time, um, then I'm not going to be able to use my doll. And I want to be able to use doll. Speaking of doll, although, okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I don't have any, uh... I already have a Stein. She's a level two. Ooh, oh no, it has to be face up, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, let's just do Ghoul. Oh wait, I already have. Okay, well that works anyway. Ghost Trick Mansion. Um, let's see. Change position. Change position. Uh, normal summon. Let's go ahead and make one of those dual hands. Let's go ahead and make one of those angels of mischief. And then we'll... What do I got in my graveyard? A whole bunch of Jiangshis and dolls? Let's go ahead, detach that. We'll get our Ghost Trick Knights. Ghost Trick Knights, baby! Doolahan will, just in case, get this back. This will change the attack of her. Let's go ahead and flip him face down. Attack directly for 3100. Ouch. And just... I've got nothing to flip anything face down. Um... Hopefully we'll be fine with that. And then draw phase. Activate Ghost Trick Knight. And then it's like, as long as I have this face up 3100, you can't flip any of those face down monsters face up. And if you do an attack directly because of the Ghost Trick Mansion, then I can Drowning Mirror Force you. It's like he can't attack face down monsters, he can only attack my face up, which has way more attack than he wants to handle. Uh, 
And then I can start getting my other ghost trick things that I want. I think I've got them where I want them, guys. Got you where I want you again. And I said, ooh, got you where I want you. I think that song's by The Flies. I don't know. It's like a 90s, like, one-hit wonder, but I'm not familiar with it. What now, holy man? Alrighty. Pretty neat. I just gotta hope he doesn't have mirror force. Um, normal salmon. Uh, activate. Yes, he surrendered. Oh, that was a hard-fought battle. But yeah, that's the thing. You, you need the one ghoul because uh, sometimes you can only attack with one monster. Sometimes you only uh. Yeah, because what, what, uh, sometimes you need to battle over monsters. Stuff can't be destroyed by card effects or flip face down, especially with links and stuff like that. But what I could have done now is put this in to have 2,500 defense face up, put all the attack onto Stein, and then you're doing all the damage with one attack. You don't have to risk losing everything. And then when Stein does battle damage, I can search a spell card. When she detaches, I can get a spell card. So I could have gotten the stuff that prevents Dark Hole Raigeki. Um, I could have gotten the thing that lets me flip up to flip his stuff face down. And he would have been taking a lot of damage. That would have been, uh, 2,036, 47, 4,700 attack Stein. So, 3,000, and then next turn, if he couldn't stop me, he would have been doomed. So, there we go. We actually got a good, like, beat-down win, where we were beating him down, and we would have continued to beat him down into submission. I'm glad I beat Vendreds. After all that talk against them, I, I man, I'm happy. I'm happy. Eighth duel. <laughs> Okie dokie. Here we are in the eighth duel versus Gyros, or perhaps Yiros. That name sounds familiar. I think in one of my previous episodes I faced this guy. Because I remember making the same statement where I was like, is it Gyros or Yiros or what? I'm going second, but I started with Raigeki, which is always nice. A little bit. I, I Again, I, I never want to play... Ooh, Christrons. Except he's probably got the Link, and I probably can't see what the Link does exactly. If you don't know, Christrons are probably my favorite deck. Them and Spirits. Spirits and Christrons are both awesome. They're definitely my favorite Synchro deck, bar none. I think that's how I like to think of it. Like, I got a favorite Synchro deck, I've got a favorite regular deck. My favorite Fusion deck, I believe, is Gem Knights. I'll have to think back, but I always had a soft spot for Gem Knights. So he can make a 5. Alrighty. Um, set. And let's just go ahead and put this here. And we'll put one of these here, and we'll put this there, because only, again, all I can make is a five, and I don't think his five is all that interesting. He's got, it's either the Christron one, or it's uh, something like, whatchamacallit, Cataster, which would be a catastrophe. Oh no, this is a dark monster, so it, yeah, Cataster doesn't matter. The other one doesn't matter because it shifts everything to defense mode, and I am already in defense mode. <gasps> See, I would have just probably saved that and then used Smiger to search some stuff. But whatever, dude, your call. Maybe you know something. Maybe you know something I don't. I'll just wait. He'll attack into that. I'll flip this stuff up. Um. Yeah, I think I want to save my ghost trick scare. I could do other stuff. And. Okay, I know. Boo. Too spooky. 
Yeah, Ghost Tricks actually have a pretty good matchup against Crystrons because if I could set them face down before my turn, Crystrons work, they, they, they do all their summoning during my turn, during their opponent's turn. So if I could put his stuff face down before then, he's not going to be able to do anything. Nope. Nope. Just go on ahead, and then end phase, I'm going to Heavy Dust Storm. Blind Heavy Dust Storm. And if he summons anything, then it's going to be shifted face down during the end phase, which is pretty neat. I would have summoned that probably beforehand. Now let's go ahead... Um, I've already got a level 1 in hand, so let's go ahead and put another level 1 on the field. And yeah, Heavy Dust Storm. Heavy Storm Duster. Heavy Dust Stormer. Heavy Levy Kenevy. Ooh, oh, glad I got that Imperial Order out of the way. That would have been, mm, he got his one-ofs. Not a fan. Not a fan of those at all. Let's just hope he doesn't have a uh, Solemn Streak A. That would suck A. Or Solemn Warning. That would suck even more. Let's go ahead. Let's duel that hand, shall we? He had the Solemn Streak A. Let's just go ahead and get a Mary. Quite contrary. Set one of those. And your move, holy man. I don't want to destroy this because it'll get a search during my turn. Rather just shuffle it into the deck. With the drowning mirror force. Maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe I'll summon something else. Just another, another like, level 3 to attack with. Got 15 both ways. Um. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna let him get fucked. I'll save Mary for another time. Because if I had used Mary, I would have taken damage, then summoned something, and then he would have attacked into that, and then I wouldn't be able to use this yet. All right. Yeah, let's go ahead. We'll set this. If he summons something, I can flip it face down immediately. And then we can hopefully make our actual doula hand if he doesn't have another solemn strike. Putting in all the counter traps in Counter Trap City. Interesting. Summoning Smigard. Smeager. I usually go for the other one. The 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 tuner. Because you gotta rescue that tuner. Rescue the tuner. You could destroy granted he could destroy himself to summon a tuner. There's a Rion. Five hundred, I've got more than that. Maybe he just wants to make a level six synchro. Yep. Oh no, the the link. Damn it, I forgot about that. How could I have forgotten about that? Cause that foils my my plan was that I could do this and then flip something face down and then not have to worry about it, but I was basically gonna wait for him to make a synchro and then flip it face down, and then I could ride Geki at my will. Now I'm just losing this instead of getting a summon out of it. And again, I don't know exactly what this does. I'm pretty sure it contributes itself during my turn to summon any tuner. Tuner out of the extra deck. Just get a free draw. Oh, when it summoned, it summons a tuner. 
and then that can get him his trap, and he'll use his trap to get something back. Or he could do this and make a level 6. But nothing can st save him from the Rygek. Which I have fortunately saved. Oh wait, this has more def- okay, we're good. We're good-ish. Yo, what's up? He can make stuff, but even if he goes into something like, uh, whatchamacallit, powered Insectatron, it has to activate its effect and it's not going to be able to. Granted, they'll have it in the graveyard for future things, so there's that. But it won't be able to activate its effect because it'll be destroyed before it even has a chance. Hey man, like, chill. I still don't like the way the negations look on this, really. Yep, because it has to activate its effect and it doesn't act... Well, I mean, it'll save him from taking battle damage, but I'm not doing a whole bunch of battle damage anyway. If you don't know, this is Wabaku on legs. When it's summoned, it can't be destroyed or, uh... or take any battle damage, but he's already got it. All right, let's try this again. And if you got another solemn strike, I'm going to be very sad. No, he does not. Um, and I can't do battle damage anyway, so I'm just going to summon this. What do I got in grave? Um, I'll take the doll back. Doll will be useful. I can't summon it this turn because I already normal summon. Um, yep. We'll get that going on. So I've got my field spell. I've got ghost trick go round. Which you don't really need, but it, it doesn't hurt to play it at one. I think it was like like 47 cards or whatever, so... I threw in like this and two, uh... Allure of Darkness, just to sort of like increase the draws. Why can't I end my turn? Okay, there we go. But yeah, this is just during the battle phase. You can like target a face down, uh... Face down, whatchamacallit, Ghost Trick flip it face up, and then flip one of their monsters face down. So it's kind of like Ghost Trick Scare, but it only affects one monster on each side of the field. But it also, um... It's also continuous, so you can just do it once per turn every turn. So it kind of saves you once you get to these, especially if you've got, like, four of their monsters set and they can't flip them face up because of the other Ghost Trick card that I don't have right now. Then it's like, they summon a monster, they try to attack, it goes face down. Granted, you have to be in the battle phase. And it flips them, it flips your ghost trick into attack mode, which is almost never good, although some of them have, like, more attack than they have defense. What are ye doing? This guy is not making plays like I would make plays. I really want to make Crystrons again, but I'm waiting, and I, 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 even for my favorite decks, it's always the same rule. You've got to wait at least a, uh, whatchamacallit, at least a year. Once I play an archetype, I don't play it again for at least a year. Hopefully by then we'll have working links. It won't just be like Chinese, Chinese stuff. Chinese things. Got you where I want you. I did look up that song, by the way, in between in between duels I went and had a listen. It is indeed by the flies. Oh, and I have zero defense. I should have summoned it in attack mode. And then he can search, and this stops them from being destroyed by card effects or targeted. So that kind of sucks.
Um, but he still doesn't have the turtle in there, so he can't make the really good things. The really good things. Yeah, I should just put that in attack mode. I don't know why I was worried about Sulfur near. Although I think I might still be able to out this. He has to wait until he goes into my battle phase, or until I go into my main. I have to do something. So I think if I could set this, chain ghost trick scare, because then I flip them in resolution. He didn't attack this. A silly thing for him to have done. Um, let's see. Give me more spell traps. Um. Yeah, too spooky five me. You can't synchro with face down cards. You can't synchro, it's much too hard. All the chains everywhere. You're gonna do you're gonna do a Rion too? You can make a six. And another six if you have one. Do, 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 do. Interesting. TG Hyper Librarian. Um. Yeah, you're good. I wonder if its other part of its effect resolves if it's face down. Yep. Um. I think I'll be taking one of these, if you please. Um, let's see. Target one card. Oh, I can't, I can't do anything about that. I need to have a ghost trick in your hand in order to activate it. Let's go ahead and get this. Um... Oh, I shouldn't have gotten this because it's not... I'm not going to have anything face up at the end phase. Uh, let's force him to use this. He can't use it because he's... He's got this already up here. And I don't think he has a, a level 9 that he really wants to use. Um... Let's set that, and then we'll go ahead for our Jiangxi. Because Jiangxi is cool. And then he's going to get chances to attack, but if he attacks, he's going to get flipped face down by Museum. And I still have 8,000. My name is Dr. Frankenstein, by the way. I'm sure you guys have noticed it. And if you don't get the reference, I don't know, I don't know how you exist. I just couldn't think of anything better. I think the first year I was Slimer, and the second year I was, uh, Samhain. Which, the first one's, like, a reference to, like, a movie that I guess is from the 80s, so if you're younger, you might not know it. And then the other one's, like, a little bit obscure, but I couldn't think of anything spooky for this one. There's no I attack with, with Stein and Ghoul. I guess Angel of Mischief. Plus, Stein's on the, the mansion. Mummy's on Museum, most- I mean, there are a lot of them are on there, but Mummy, mostly. Mummy gives you a second normal summon, which is pretty nice. Yeah, so you'll have to synchro during my turn. He could make it to Zulkin, but he wouldn't want to because he doesn't have the things. A Wonder Magician. I don't think I've ever seen this summoned. I really have to look once once I get to making them again, because that, that tuner is really good. I Or the Link, I know it can just summon anything. Ooh, okay, so you can make Quandrax. If he goes into the battle phase at all, I can use Doll. 
which will put everything face down during my turn, which will just set up everything perfectly. Granted, Doll will take the hit. Ooh. Fi oh no. Quandrax! Great. The world is a vampire. Do 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 do. Um, fuck. Son of a bitch! So I'm gonna take 5,000, but he'll be face down. So I may have a chance to do a thing. There you go. If I could just... Uh, I can't normal summon any ghost tricks, though. I can go into I can go into the battle phase and then flip it face up and then Oh wait no he has to have a face up monster for that to work. I think. Doesn't matter. I don't <laughs> I don't have anything. Let's see, that's three, four, five, what's half of five? Twenty five hundred. Um Better than nothing. I'll survive unless he draws another monster. But I really need to draw a monster, and even then, I'm not sure if that's going to do me any good. Well, no, just about any monster would do me good with Ghost Trick Round. I just really should have gotten more more of the uh, the Ghost Trick scares, because you can use them anytime. All right. Yeah, this all monsters can attack directly. Um, but all damage dealt by monsters other than Ghost Tricks is halved. So I'll take a thousand. Oh, he's probably worried about the, 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 uh, Drowning Mirror Force. And then end phase dust storm. Get the fudge out of here, mother fudger. Oh, good. I'm glad I got got that out. Well, I get to get get to me another turn. We'll see. I'll be back when I draw draw the final thing, or he makes the final move. <laughs> hey! So I managed to stall him out with ghost trick go round and ghost trick specter. So now I've got one of these. And hopefully I've got... Oh, I've got no more doula hands. Great. Not a single doula hand to be found. Um... Fuck. I could make a Kashik Magician, but that wouldn't really help. All I could do is send Rosenix back. I could make this... Which, yeah, would stall me. Slacker stall! I'm a slifer slacker. Get me a heart attacker. Everybody knows. So that's what's going on right now. So yeah, we'll be back again because I'm still stalling. For all eternity, it would seem. <laughs> oh, hey, look what I got. Surprise! Time to stall for several more turns. Um, I don't have anything I can do or kill, but if I get a ghost trick, uh, then I'll be pretty nice. Um, I could attack him for, yeah, that's not going to do much. I'd rather just stay in defense mode. But if I can get some ghost tricks, I might be able to do a thing. <laughs> All right, I think I may finally have gotten him where I want him. Because I can, okay, so, uh, activate, flip him face down. I managed to get this with, with the Ghost Trick Knight and everything still face down. He didn't flip his other ones face up, he just was attacking with... Or he just had this, which which worked out really badly for him. I'm going to get Lantern, because then if they attack this... I, if, Lantern is a direct attack, or if they attack with a... Uh, or if they attack a, another Ghost Trick. So 
So I, is, I can keep this face up, and if they if he summons something to attack it, I can negate the attack with Lantern. And he can't flip up any of these monsters that are already here. And now I can just attack him for three to four hundred every turn, while also generating more cards. It's pretty neat. It's like a lockdown festival, where everyone gets locked down and no one has any fun except for me. And even then, only a little bit because I get to show off on front of the camera and stuff. Let's just flip this face down. Well, there we go. And then never flip it face up again, because if we do, we'll lose our lockdown. And I don't want to lose my lockdown. What's cool about this is if he destroys it, then he can't battle that turn, so he'll be able to flip everything face up, but he won't be able to attack into this. At this point, though, I've got to expect that the frustration is just, like, building up in his soul. Um, normal summon. We'll just attack him directly. And yeah, that's that thing. The, the, the 400 and the 600 are not that much. But when everything except for ghost tricks is halved... And just every turn you're taking that, that is how you can beat them down, even without other stuff. Um, no. Because I can't flip that Link monster. Touché, salesman, touché. Um, but I can... Activate. And then... Oh, did I already change it? I guess I gotta leave him face up then. We're good. I was hoping I could flip him up the next turn. What I need is Ghoul. I should be able to get Ghoul next turn. And then I can just attack over this by boosting Jiangxi to, like, oh, over 1,500. Oh, no. Twin Twisters. But if he destroys this, then he can flip his stuff face up, but he can't attack. So, again, I'm kind of safe. And then I've got this. So I'm safe for this turn. I get Swords of Concealing Light. You cannot. My ghost is just sitting there like... Blah. Frustration! The movie, the game. Why didn't you flip everything face up? You could have flipped all these things face up. Um, let's see. Okay. So... Normal summon this. Then change Jiangxi. There's three ghost tricks. So I'll be able to get Ghoul. Who I can't summon because I already normal summoned. Um, but I can... Do one of these. Which won't affect his Link monster, but... Uh, It'll stop him from flipping his other things face up. And again, he can't attack my face down monsters. He can only attack my one face up monster. Which can't be destroyed twice per battle. So I should be good. Unless he's got like another twin twisters for this. And this. Well, if he hits this, then it's going to do more harm to him than good. Because then he has to attack through all of these. Okay, so we'll get rid of that, but then I'll be able to Ixyz summon next turn. And that should be all he can do. Is get a Soul Fear in here, but I'm pretty sure it summons it in defense mode. Yeah. The grind game is real. It cannot be stopped. It cannot be halted. 
It can only be ground into a pulp. Mother of God. All right, there's turn one. Let's go ahead and do some terrible forming, shall we? Um, and at this point, that'll only reset. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Um, so I'm just going to go for a maximum attack. Because that'll reset its attack if I flip it face down. And hopefully he's not going to be able to attack me directly for 2,000. Oh no, it's halved anyway, so you'd have to be like 4,000. Alright. That doesn't really affect things at this point. If anything, it's good, because now I just got another space open for Jack Frost. Who will attack directly? I think it'll be Boo Ghost. Boo Ghost can have the booiest, ghostiest things. Yo, what's up? There goes your link. And then during the end phase, everything goes face down and I get a Stein because it has the most attack. And now my real hope is just that he doesn't just, if he just destroys this and then summons something with enough attack he can get, uh, he can, he can attack me directly at this point, and there's nothing I can do to stop him because all my zones are full. Put soul fear near in the graveyard. He's doing lots of things. But I'm pretty sure with this out, I can end the game next turn by attacking for too much damage for him to handle. Let me think. Three. That's nine. That'll be nine hundred on uh, two thousand twenty-eight. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Forty-five. 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 Forty-five.
except the stuff that he keeps face down, in which case I attack over him directly again. So, a hard fought, a well good duel, Mr. Gyros, but Ghost Tricks just managed to, to eke it out. Going into the ninth duel. <laughs> Okery dokery, here we are, ninth duel, versus Aizen, I think, or Aizen? Aizen, I, Aizen probably. Your go. <laughs> I've got hand traps, I don't have to worry about stuff like that. And Aizen, I'm pretty sure, is a Bleach person. A person from Bleach. Oh, great. Pacifiorus. I don't like Pacifus. It makes me sad. It's a sad state of affairs. What's up with this guy? He's all, like, see-through? Is that just because of the, the field spell? What's up with that? It's all green and weird. The pop-up art isn't looking right. So I'm going to take 1950, and I can't turn his tokens face down. So yeah, I'm gonna. I'm already gonna have a bad time. Uh, when this inflicts damage, you can summon it. Um, no. Lantern says nay. It says nay every day. And I guess, oh no, he does get a token. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Now I said, ladies, what's cooler than cool? Ice cold. It's like, oh no, not my lantern. But it's fine, I've got a spooky ghost. He comes out of nowhere. He's got feet down there. There's something under that sheet. He's not just that sheet. He's got feet. It's weird. All right, I dig it. Um, I'm gonna conceal your light a little bit, just to flip this face down, or and or bait out his his uh, thing. Either way, it'll get rid of his uh, equip card. Aha! That's quite all right. Um, change position. I don't want to set this because it'll get it'll get stuffed. I don't want to be stuffed in a book. Let's go ahead. Duel in hand. Can I can I do a thing? Can I do a thing? I would like to do a thing, maybe. You got another one you can use? Let's go ahead and send Mary and have his attack. 975, um... Okay. And then I'm just going to attack, I'm just going to kill this thing, because I don't want him to have equip cards. Unless he's got that other thing. Oh, okay. He's just saving his Phantasm Spiral Battle. Um, yeah, I'd rather just not take any damage at all. Um, but if I do that, then he's going to be able to attack it. So, no. As much as I like drawing cards. But I got him to waste two of those. And I can stop this with uh, Jack Frost, and then when he destroys Jack Frost, I'll get that draw on that run anyway. So we'll be good. I don't think he doesn't know I have Jack Frost. And then that one is oh, he's putting it, putting them both on there. A dumb maneuver, if I do say so myself. Although I guess this can equip all appropriate. Um. Yeah, so sadly, I think he's going to get his Phantasm Spiral Dragon. And it's going to make me sad. Because he could shift them all over to him. And now he does Piercing. 
Does he get two of them, though? Ouch. Well, the one's at the end of the... And then I got to discard a card. Great. And then he gets to add more things. Um... No, because I want to stop that 29 from happening. Ha <laughs> ho! What think of ye now? I've still got a lantern. I am the hunter. Ugh. Yeah. Because at this point, my best hope is to be able to make my things. Oh, he's got another Pacificus. Yep, I think I'm doomed. Because he could just destroy my things. And do piercing. It's another deck very weak to spell trap removal, and I don't have good spell trap removal. Um, I'm going to say yes. And then, okay, here's what we'll do. Get that. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, I can't flip. We'll do... I'm not going to survive that. And it doesn't affect his tokens. But this doesn't really help advance the game state all that much. Um, yeah, we'll take this to stop from getting attacked again. But yeah, I'm pretty sure, granted I said that with the Crystron, I'm pretty sure we lost it, and then I ended up doing pretty good with it. He attacked, yeah, and then it won't be destroyed by that battle. But he doesn't have one to summon. And I've got that. And not much else. A sad state of affairs. Affairs, affairs, affairs. Hard, but dirt, but dirt. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making weird goat sounds at this point. I'll tell you what. Um. Yeah, that's the one that has all the things on it. So I'll negate that attack, and he's got no more left, so he can't switch them off there. So then he can't do piercing. Well, granted, he can't do piercing anyway. Either way. I'm taking less damage. What I really need to hope for is my thing that flips everything face down, or perhaps a mirror force of some kind. This ghoul is not doing much for me. Oh, yeah. Or if I get another level 1, I can make Slacker Magician. Which will not help me because piercing. I can make a Kashik Magician. Which would kind of help me a little bit. It would do a thing. It would do something. I would really prefer my trap, though. A trap would be technically better. Thank you. Thank you, world. I appreciate it. Just setting everything. Hopefully he doesn't have spell trap removal. 
No, but he does have White Elephant's Gift. Maybe he'll draw into Spell Trap Removal. Yay! Most people don't expect the Drowning Mirror Force. Now you have to summon everything all over again! Oh, but he still gets his thing? What? I only activated one effect! Oh no, he- okay. I thought he was gonna summon two of those tokens. Get another one of those, uh, target one card your opponent controls. Okay, gotcha. Um, so that'll put him at 1900, which is not enough. All right, that helps a little bit. It helps me to continue to fight the long, hard battle that is Ghost Tricks. Oh, okay. No heavy dust storm for me. I'm just taking a thousand each turn at least. Oh, and he's got bunnies too. This is, uh, if all the monsters you control are normal monsters, okay. So if he makes some sort of Ixie, he can't, he can't, uh, use those anymore. But these can still attack, right? So I'm taking 3,000. A sad state of affairs. This time I was right about my inability to be wrong. Let's go ahead into the 10th, 10th duel and final duel. And then be done with Ghost Tricks for another year. Not that I dislike ghost tricks. Ghost tricks are super fun, don't get me wrong, but recording them takes forever. <laughs> testing, one, two, three, except for I don't have the one, two, three, it's just testing. Just doing the testing. He's a testing guy. And while I'm here in the final duel, I'll just remind you, because apparently I have to remind people, subscribe. Uh, subscribe if you enjoyed this, if you made it this far. It's really weird, I always thought it was annoying when people told people to subscribe, but apparently if you don't tell people, or if you do tell people, they're much more likely to subscribe. It's weird how that works out, but yeah, if you're enjoying this, please subscribe. The more subscribers I get, the more popular I get, and the more popular I get, the, the more chance that I'll, uh, I'll find a patron who's willing to donate a lot of money to me. So that's like, even, you know, maybe you don't want to donate to the Patreon, maybe you don't want to be one of those Patreon kind of guys. You know, by subscribing, by liking the video, by commenting, by sharing it around with friends or on, like, social media and stuff like that. I mean, I'm a mad free channel. If you want to put this shit on, like, Facebook or whatever, as long as you're not making, like, a bunch of ad revenue off of all my work and everything. But if you're just sort of, like, showing it to your friends and stuff like that, I don't care. Or if you've got, like, a million Facebook followers for whatever reason. Or like, maybe maybe you're on Twitter. I don't, I don't know much about Twitter. But if you, you got like Twitter people and you're like, hey, check out these duels. They're long, but the guy, it's worth it. That, that would help me. I would appreciate that a whole bunch. But you don't have to. You can just sit here and enjoy a good, wonderful time. Lots of people do. It's weird. I get, I, I, I get a lot of people, uh, not a lot of people, but I do get some people who are like, you know, I... I I've been in a shitty place in my life, I had a terrible day, and listening to you play Yu-Gi-Oh! Makes, makes everything good again. I feel like almost every creator seems to get that, though. Like, no matter what kind of content they make, it, it, it always makes someone day feel better. And that's why I would be like, you know, never be ashamed of, uh, of making, making content. If you're thinking of making content, and you're worried that, like, Oh, what are people going to think? Or, oh, what if it's not good? Someone out there will like it. Someone out there, it may just make their day. As silly as it seems. Like, it's silly to me that to think that, like, me doing the, 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 the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff would be at all something that, uh, that anyone would, would, uh, get, would seek comfort from. And yet, here we are. Born to be kings. We're the princes of the universe. Here we belong. 
Fighting for a rival with a something of the darkest powers. Damn, son, Ignister prominence. Prominence. Alright. You gonna spin your things to do the stuff? Destroy it, shuffle one card to the field. Doesn't target! There goes Jiangxi. I guess I don't get to draw cards after all. I'm just gonna take a whole bunch of damage. A sad state of affairs, but hopefully I'll still survive. I think I'll still survive. I may not be a mathematician, but I know I know a thing when I see it. And then I'll be able to ride Geki. And then he'll feel silly about having made that decode talker. And then I'll probably just weep and die because there's not much else I can do. Which, I mean, we already won five, so we beat the spread. So I'm happy enough. Yo, what's up? Get regect. Except now he gets to get his pendulum graph. Look at this pendulum graph. Every time I do it makes me laugh. And she's like, she's so angry at him. She's like trying to hit him with a broom. He's like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be a bad stein. Yeah, I think e either way though, uh, that's, that's what I was going to say. Like, I, I think I'm going to pose, I'm going to show the replays because the replays are pretty neat. Even though we didn't do, we did five, which is, again, to be expected from Ghost Tricks. Oh, yeah, and I should mention while I'm here, because people are going to ask me, like, why don't you play the, uh, the new Ghost Trick trap? Um, I, I don't really like it. I, I, I tried it. I was playing it at three, and then I tried just two, and then at one. And unless you have, like, if you're unfamiliar with it, the trap is basically, like, return a Ghost Trip, trip ugh, Ghost Trick uh, field spell to your hand. And then activate a ghost trick field spell from your deck. So it can it can protect from things like what just happened with the, the Galaxy Cyclone. Which is good the half of the time, but the other half of the time I either don't have the field spell, or they play something that like destroys multiple field spells. And it's just not it it just didn't work. It was a dead card more than it ended up being useful. It also has this effect in the graveyard where you can, like, summon a go any ghost trick uh, Ixy monster on top of any other ghost trick Ixy monster. Which, again, you can already get Angel of Mischief, which is, like, the best one. It's only really useful if you have, like, two level ones and you need to destroy a set card so you can go into, like, Alucard. Or if you want to make So Cute Boss. Just not having a good time. You already you already could do two thousand. Or a thousand would already be more than enough. I guess he doesn't know what I got in my hand. Yep, so that was anticlimactic. But I'll I'll have I'll have replays. We'll go ahead into the replays. See ya there. <laughs> Shrinking skulls will shock your soul, seal your doom tonight. Swirky, scary skeletons, sweet with such a clutch. You'll shake and shudder in surprise when you hear these zombies shriek. We're so sorry, skeleton, you're so misunderstood. You only want to socialize, but I don't think we should. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrinking skulls will shock your soul, seal your doom tonight. Spooky, scary skeletons, speak with such a speech. You'll shake and shudder and surprise when you hear these zombies shriek. Thank <laughs> you.
My body's stupid, stereo putrid, pumping out music into raw sewage, reaching my threshold, staring at the truth of life. go witches and warlocks ghost trick beat down we went five and five which is pretty good considering it's an archetype based around flipping things face down uh in the link era where a lot of stuff can't be flipped face down we went up against quite a lot of meta decks and we actually did pretty well against them I i'm quite happy with how this turned out even if we didn't have a good win record uh the, the deck did what it was supposed to do it, it it had some pretty interesting neat duels and i hope you guys enjoyed it um not sure if I'll be doing these again next year. It depends how prevalent links are. I mean, there is one more win condition I haven't tried. I could try to stall and put put a 10 material on Angel of Mischief. That might be interesting. But uh, who, who knows? Uh, next week, I think I'm going to be looking at a Patreon request. Should be for ABC, I believe. Going pretty close to the meta there. Might even be meta. I'm not sure. You'll have to tell me down in the comments. Either way... Until next time, good luck, have fun, and happy Halloween. <laughs>